This is my left arm and for the next 30 days I'm going to try to fix my broken arm by doing a few stretches that will challenge me and most likely make me want to give up. Now when I say broken, I would have to put some quotations around it and provide some context for you. It's about to get real vulnerable up in here because if I'm being honest, this has been my biggest insecurity of my entire life. Now back in the day before I had my first Taco Bell experience, I was born with some nerve damage in my left shoulder and that limited some of my mobility and some of my range of motion. The medical term is called a brachial plexus injury. And a long time ago, I had surgery and they stretched my chest muscle up to my shoulder to help out with all of that. And now I'm here, but don't get me wrong. It hasn't stopped me from doing all the things I want to do. I've enjoyed every single part of my life so far, but there's just been some things that I haven't been able to do that a normal person could, like efficiently catching and throwing a baseball, a normal push-up, even folding my arms or just holding something normally. And for me, this is just my relaxed stance. Like my arms are just, I'm just chilling, right? But I used to get so embarrassed when I would take pictures, especially group pictures, because most people look at themselves first when they see a group picture that they were just in. I would always look to see if my arm was there and then I worried about the face I was making or anything else after that. So I'm gonna try to stretch my left shoulder and my arm for the next 30 days and see if it kind of like jump starts the fixing process. And I've seen other accounts of people that have stretched and become more flexible or it changes their life or it's something like that. And I've always thought that it was cool and all, but I was always like, what would it be like if you've never been able to do something like extend your elbow and arm out in the first place? And currently I can't reach across my body, can't reach straight above my head. I can't straighten my arm, can't lift just my elbow up and I can't open my hand without bending my wrist. And if you look at my shoulder now, as I move my arm, it moves as one complete unit. So hopefully by stretching, I can kind of wake those muscles up, kind of like Mushu in the movie Mulan. In the past, I would always start and then I'd be going good for a little bit, but then I would always give up. I'd get frustrated or something like that. And I would think it's pointless really. And I kind of made this video a, to kind of just inspire you, motivate you, all that kind of stuff. But I also made this video so that you could kind of help keep me accountable. No, seriously, if in any of my future videos, if you just comment, have you been stretching? I won't take offense to it, I'm, I'm serious. And see, I also know that so many people have different opinions and takes on how often someone should stretch. But from my understanding, after browsing the internet without getting overwhelmed by everyone's suggestions, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by doing six stretches daily, three sets of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for each stretch. And I honestly really don't know what to expect, but Hey, here we go. I'm just being honest. I know I'm gonna watch this later and edit it and everything, but I'm kind of insecure. I, I mean, that's just what it is. And that's why I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt. Cause I know that I'm gonna have to watch this and I know that I'm putting it out in the world, but it's, it's fine, it's whatever. One thing I also realized is that I have to like keep my shoulder like locked in place. Cause usually when I move it, like I, I said before, it moves when I move my arm. So I gotta like keep it locked in place because I'm trying to train my brain also to use the muscles that are there instead of using the shoulder to compensate for all those muscles. I think it's gonna be difficult. It's something I have to train myself even if my arm you know, stretches all the way out, I'm gonna have to train my brain to use those muscles instead of using my shoulder. And all the things I said that I can't do are the stretches that I'm gonna try to do. And the only thing I'm gonna add is a dead hang, which is basically just getting like a pull-up bar and just hanging from it. But again, I'm gonna try to keep my shoulder locked in place. Here's to day one, which you know what? I'm glad I'm starting. So I officially made it a week and I'm not gonna lie, like after the third day, I was ready to give up. It's weird. That's why I didn't even record, I think what, the fourth and fifth day or something like that. But I did do it. I did, I did stretch. I had a nice routine going and I'm sure there's other things I can do. There's different stretches I could probably be doing, but hey, we're here. And let's take on week two, just one day at a time. All right, let me back up just a little bit. It's important to know that there are different types of stretches. There's actually seven and of those. I'm only gonna talk about two of them because that'd be a lot to do in this video. But the main two I'm talking about, they kind of umbrella over the rest of them. You got static stretching and dynamic stretching. Static stretching is stretching a muscle to its furthest point and holding that position. And dynamic stretching is stretching a muscle by moving parts of your body and increasing the reach and or speed. They both go hand in hand, meaning that dynamic stretches are great before any physical activity because it's warming up your muscles. And static stretches are perfect for when that activity is over because it's better to stretch stretch warm muscles versus cold muscles. And according to the National Library of Medicine, static stretching is effective at increasing range of motion. That's what your boy is trying to do. Okay, I feel like this calls for a celebration because it's been two weeks. I've been consistent for two weeks. I think I should like just be proud of myself because I haven't been able to do something like that this for two weeks straight. It's just one of those things for me. And I don't know how else to explain it. There have been a lot of moments where I feel like I'm still not doing anything. I think I'm gonna change one of the stretches. The one where I'm trying to like e extend my, or open my hand really. Feel that on the top of my forearm. And I really feel like it's this part of the forearm that really needs to stretch. Like even just doing that right there, keeping my wrist straight, I can feel it all right here. So I think I'm gonna switch that up. Will something change in two weeks if I do like that, do something like that? I have no idea, but we'll see what happens.
So as I was going through the third week, I was thinking of how proud of myself I was for doing something that seemed so simple to other people. So many people can easily extend their arms and don't even think about it, but what keeps me going is the fact that I wanna be an inspiration to myself later on. And anyone that is in a similar situation that may or may not have some kind of disability or if you just wanna make some kind of change in your life. And also ever since my son came into the world, I really have been thinking about doing the simple things like throwing a baseball, like I mentioned earlier. I even told Abigail before he was born that I was kind of nervous about holding him because I didn't know if I could hold him properly because of my arm. That's also another reason why I just, I don't hold people's babies, that's just not me. I mean, even if I didn't have a problem with my arm, I wouldn't be holding other people's kids because that's, I just don't do that. It makes me nervous, I don't know why. Your boy here missed a day and I'm not gonna lie, I was beating myself up over it. And then like Abigail just reminded me like, Dude, it's just one day. But again, I'm still falling into the like wanting to see results immediately. And even if it's like an inch or a half an inch difference, that's still progress. And I also know everything's not gonna happen in a month. If you do notice like as I'm hanging this, my left hand, it still bends a little bit at the wrist. And so I'm trying to get that straightened because I think once that fully straightens, it'll straighten everything else. Obviously I'm not an expert. So like if you are watching this, you're like, oh, he's got to do this or blah, blah, blah. Then definitely let me know, comment down below, all that kind of stuff. Or if you just have suggestions. Feel free to let your boy know. So I made it through the end of the month, but I was a little disappointed in myself, if I'm being honest, because I didn't keep up with it at all last week. You can blame just life happening or just me being lazy. I, you can have so many excuses. And unfortunately, my first thought was like, the effort that I just put in this previous three weeks, it was all erased, which I know that's not necessarily the case, but that's just where my mind went first. But thankfully, I quickly got out of that mindset because as weird as this is to describe and as weird as it is to say, like, I feel like I can feel a difference even if you can't necessarily see the difference. Like, nothing hurts, but it does feel better. Like, here's a little comparison from the first week to now, and it may not look different, but you don't go to the gym and expect to see results within a month or expect to be a pro at anything with little to no experience. I view this as a step in the right direction, but I do have to take a step back and ask myself this question. How do I get out of this brutal cycle? Meaning it's basically like a new year's resolution. You start strong and then you trail off. And for me, it's like I can dedicate 12 plus weeks to training for a marathon. But why can't I do the same thing for my left arm? And I honestly think it's because I know that I'm capable of running and doing something like this with my left arm just always seemed impossible. I think because there's like a lot going on up here. So I know it's going to take a really, really long time. It's going to be really difficult for me, but I don't know if I should go like see a physical therapist or something like that. But what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to try my best to stay consistent and I'm just going to keep on going. And it's also just good to remember that we all have some kind of insecurity, some kind of disability maybe or something deep down that we kind of want to change but that thing doesn't define who you are like I'm not really the guy with the messed up left arm or the guy that can't straighten his left arm I'm just really and the same applies to you oh and when you watch this video I'm serious ask if I've been stretching <laughs> unless there's like you know 500 of y'all asking but seriously yeah. Sunday morning fuels quickly turns to afternoons it's like that I can barely go and catch it kind of how I feel with you